Welcome back. We are here today with Bobby Little. And Bobby, you are with the car show, right? And what's the name of the car show? It's the Riverfront Run. And it's put on by the River Rat Rods, our little club here in Madison. So the River Rat Rods is a, is a car club here mm -hmm. in Madison. Yes, it's a group of just a handful of people. We don't have any, you know, big wording or anything like that. It's just a group. We get together once in a while and put this car show on and we do our weekend runs and just, just have fun. Right. So people could could call you up and be a member of it. Oh, absolutely. That'd yeah, be we'd great. be happy to have anybody. We're, we're pretty informal. Our only requirements, we have one dinner a year and you have to attend it. So it's pretty simple. I think they can do that. Right. So, right. Now the car show that you do every year, that is held down at the waterfront, isn't it? Yes, it's on the uh, Bond Drive, the riverfront. And, and this year, they had to do a little bit of a change to Yes, it. they had the stormwater drainage construction going on, and uh, it didn't, of course, the flooding messed everything up, and it didn't move as scheduled. So we had to move our footprint to the west. We go all the way to Jefferson Street this year. So we'll have Farmers Park, the uh, Regatta parking lot, mm -hmm. and then uh, Bicentennial Park. We were allowed to use it. So we had to move to the east, but... We'll make it work. Well that, well, that big parking lot down there on the west side of Vaughn, that's, that's a nice big parking lot. Uh, the one they call Lamplighter Park? Mm -hmm. Yes, we normally have it full of cars, too, so I'm sure it will be full again this year, um, hopefully. Yeah. So what all is going to happen this year? What all do you have coming in? Uh, you mean as far as vehicles? Yeah, vehicles or vendors? Uh, or? We, we have, uh, of course, food vendors will be there. Uh, we'll have military vehicles. We'll have some old fire trucks. Of course, uh, the one there on Main Street has an old fire truck. Yes, and, uh, that's the I pump. One has the pump on it, isn't it? 1937. No, this is a the hand pump. An actual fire truck, but it's got like a big monster V8 in it. It was quite a oh. quite a taking, you know, back then. Yes. And uh, of course, our show's pretty well geared to the military and the veterans. And our, our trophies reflect that. We have a veterans trophy, our opening ceremonies goes into the fact of what is veteran uh, Memorial Day actually all about. Yes. So we're, we're pretty much geared to the right to the ones that made the made it possible for us to continue to do this. To be able to have the freedom to do whatever yes, we want. Yes, absolutely. To enjoy our liberties that we right. have. Right. Well, that's that's <clears throat> really nice. Now the um, the vendors that you have coming in, what are they going to be? Uh, we're having, I believe, Milton. Uh, Fire, Fire Company rescue. is coming over, and they have a wonderful yes. uh, menu, and we'll have uh, the Copelands, they'll be there with their, I think they call it Button Racks Barbecue, <gasps> but uh, they're good, and then we'll have the Shave Ice and, and some others. We have, I believe, six or eight vendors, so, oh. and uh, the nice thing, they will be right there in the edge, east edge of the uh, Bicentennial Park, and then we have to set up right there where the stage normally is. Yes. So it's going to be well centered. So it, it may be a, a really nice setup, you know, something different. So we'll see how it works out. Well, it sounds like it might even be just a little bit better mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of the way the cars are going to be able to line up. Right, right. That'll be nice. Now, what is the most cars you've ever had in the car show? The first year we put it on, we were hoping for 100. We had 202. And our best year was 377 registered cars. Now, last year we had some rain, but we oh. still had 289, which was still pretty successful. You had a lot of successful. rain last year. Yes, we had a lot of rain. So if we have a good good day, we could conceivably have four, 400 plus cars, which, which I'm hoping for. Oh, that's great. And uh, we have registration quite a few this year, and we have one from Michigan. So that's encouraging. Plus, over the years, we've had Arkansas, Alabama, New Jersey. Yes. So we, we're pretty well attended. Now, event. what's the vehicle coming from Michigan? What What is I, it? Do I, you don't, know? Oh, I don't know. You just know there's one coming from know, Michigan. Yeah, the Kim told me she had a registration from Michigan. So. Oh, wow. Now, with all of this kind of centered around the veterans, on that Saturday morning, what are some of the things people can expect or if they want to be there for certain parts of the, the car show, like some of the services for the veterans? Well, Saturday morning, we'll open the gates at 8 o'clock, and, of course, the cutoff is 12, but you know, if people have issues or they call us, we, we don't cut them that close. Right. But at uh, 12 o'clock, thereabouts, we will have the opening ceremony, mm -hmm. which the Legion comes down and does the raising of the flag and a salute. Yeah. And then uh, uh, we usually have the chaplain will give a prayer. And then, like I said, there's a little narrative about what 
Memorial Day actually stands for, how it yeah. started. So it, and then we play, uh, of course, Lee Greenwood, you know, God Bless America. And it's kind of chilling fact, but like I said, we pretty well kind of cater to the veterans. And of course, the legions will pick the veterans trophy. Right. So it, it all intertwines. Now this year you have <clears> some <throat> special guests coming, don't you? Uh, we have Morgan. Lentis. Lentis from 32. She's going to be there for the opening ceremony ceremonies to walk us through it. So oh, wow. That will be exciting. She's a wonderful young lady. Yes, she helped us out when we did the dedication on the uh, Veterans Memorial in front of the courthouse. Yeah. And she's a very talented young lady. Yes, she is. It's really sweet. So yes. That'll be neat to have her here, mm -hmm. have her part of it. So, Now, um, with all that, the entry fees... What is it to enter your car or can you enter motorcycles? Can you enter a it's, tractor? It's an open show. Mm -hmm. It's basically motorcycles and any, uh, we don't have tractors yet. We've talked about it, but it's, it's an open vehicle okay. show. And the only mandate is that you have to drive it in. It can be a working project or a completed vehicle. We're happy to have you. We don't care. And uh, we generally have a lot of nice motorcycles and the quality of the cars every year has just gotten phenomenal. Some of them look like they just rolled off the factory floor. Right. Um, I've been They're really amazed at Like weather. last year's car was probably a $125,000, $130,000 Camaro. It was just unbelievable. And, you know, the quality of the cars just improves every year. Right. So it, it's it's really amazing and it's fun to do. So. What are some of the awards that you're all giving away this year? Well, we have uh, Top 100, and then we also do Specialty, which is interior paint graphics engine uh wheels anything like that there's probably 40 specialty trophies oh wow and then we have and each trophy gets a little bigger and then we have memorial awards one in particular is the frank mangione he's uh basically the reason this car show is going because we talked to him and <clears throat> we thought you know can we do it and he goes you guys can do this and he helped us the first year so oh. frank was very instrumental he was a wonderful person and then we have the Veterans Trophy, which is a little bit bigger. And right. then you have the Best to Show, which is probably six feet tall. Because oh. the guy that won it a couple years ago, we had to take it apart for him so he could get it to the car. <laughs> I remember that. Mm -hmm. He couldn't get it home. Yeah, he couldn't get it home. So. so. Well, that's great. Now, is there anything people need to know, you know, that we haven't talked about already when they're coming no, to the car it, show? No, it's, it's free show. Come on in. We'd be happy to have you. There's no admission. Okay. And... Uh, Looking forward to seeing, hopefully, hundreds of cars this year. And there's Again. no entry fee? No. Well, the only entry fee is for the cars. Right. Well, that's what we pre need to make pre sure. Pre-admission was $15. It, now, of course, that was passed right. May the 11th. So it's $20 at the gate now so for a now vehicle. To, to put your car in the show yeah. itself, you need $20 yeah. to get it and in there. the first 250 gets what we call a goodie bag. It has Lucas D. Taylor, and this year we had a sponsor for a... a a micro cloth, which is a detail. Oh, yes. So we have that in there, and it, it's pretty nice, you know, a couple of things in that bag for the pre entries and the first right. 250. Oh, wow. Now, yeah. what do some of the proceeds go to? What is that to help you all do? Okay. Uh, the first few years, of course, we did, had very little money, and we've kind of built it up. So yes. we gave scholarships like 250, and then we upped them to five. In the last couple of years, we have given three $1,000 scholarships, and those are oriented to technical. Now it doesn't have to be automotive. Right. It could be a machinist, mm -hmm. a welder. We've had three welders in the last few years that have graduated top of their class and, and doing real well. Awesome. And then uh, it can be a radiologist, it can be a machine operator. It's, it's geared towards a technical field of some sort. Right. And then we give money to shop to a firefighter. Uh, we give money to the regatta parade. We also gave money for the fireworks each year because we all felt that's something that everybody gets oh, good yes. out of. And then we've helped some people that's been in a bind and, you know, uh, needed a little boost and just we try to give back everything we can to the community because right. the people that sponsor us and give us the money for the trophies and donations are the ones that make it happen. Right. So we try to give back as much as we can and still function. Mm, that's great because you don't pick just one thing you kind of spread it around yeah that's yeah, nice yeah we uh, you know we don't have a de designated i want to say recipient right. other, other than the scholarships well and plus it gives people mm. some people may want to 
donate to part of something you're doing mm -hmm. and not this over here because everybody has a passion and everybody's passion is not the same right so by you spreading it out you have more ability to help that's, spread it. that's what I say you know we we've had yeah. calls not from people themselves but from family members that know we help out and yes. they will say you know would you consider doing this I mean we have even helped on some funeral expenses that people couldn't cover right. so we just give back you know to the community as much right. as we can because the community has been so good to us mm -hmm. especially the city of Madison I mean they're allowing us to do things down there you know yes really makes a difference and, and, and you're uh, blocking off streets and <clears throat> right you know. but you know the mayor he's been more than yes. supportive of supportive of us the last eight years we've been doing it he's part of the reason we're able to get this done this year he's really stepped up and helped us out so and made hats sure off to Dana. there was there was projects going on down there and so those had to be completed in order for you to even be there yes so I'd that say was, the stormwater yeah. drainage and, and then the pump house it's gone uh, we can't use the shelter house so we had that's why we had to move our footprints so right we'll try it out this year and see what happens oh I'm sure everybody will love it as well, long as they can see a car we tried to make it strictly fun memorial you know have fun time right. event and do everything we can to accommodate the, the people that yes. are good enough to bring their cars in and spend the day with us and then remind them that Memorial Day is not just for cooking out right it's, right. it's really to remember the military like I say the reason Veterans. we're able to have our freedoms and and do our cars and our shows and stuff mm -hmm. that uh, a lot of other countries don't have that liberty so no, we're very don't. fortunate yeah we are very Mm -hmm. Very fortunate. Well, is there a contact number that they can use if they want to call and ask a question? Uh, of course, everybody knows me, 265-2626 if they need anything, or uh, Kim Washer and Kenny, they're part of it, 265-3434. Uh, and, of course, some others that help us are members of the club quite a bit is Don and Becky Cole and Terry Willis. I mean, there's usually about six or eight of us put this thing on every year, so plus the others will help us during the day. But right. It's... Uh, it's quite an undertaking usually when 5 36 o'clock when this year's over it's like what are we going to do next year well I've heard you all discussing next year during the car show right we we, so. we see things every year that mm -hmm. we can make better and tweak it and make it a more enjoyable experience and that's all we're striving for yeah and I think that's what makes an event survive mm -hmm. is you're always looking to how can you do this a little better you know what can we do over here to make this work out better make this fit better mm -hmm. so I think you all are you all are on the well, right track we've got a group from Bedford and they have came every year and they're always registration one two three four five I mean they're just like clockwork they they said it's one of the fav most favorite shows they attend so oh. that's quite a compliment in itself. it is mm -hmm. very much so and of course with Trimble County being so close to here it's kind of like a little suburb of Jefferson County right so. right we have uh, Trimble County Car Club they they do our judging for us so that takes us clear out of the picture yes. and uh, I think everybody's comfortable with that so and yeah. of course we have the Mustang Club, Fall City, and the Camaro Club from Louisville. And they come up every year. And we have people from Cincinnati and Rising Sun and Phoebe. They, they generally accommodate us, so wow. we try to be as good as we can to them. Maybe this year you'll have over 400. I would like to one year just to break the 400. That would be quite a feat, but we'll take what we get. Oh, yeah. Hopefully if the weather's good, we could see that. Well, I'm hoping it will be. Yeah. So I'm We're due. <laughs> we are very much so. Well, thanks for, so much for being here today. This is Thank wonderful. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Oh, you're it. welcome. You're welcome. There's nothing else, right? Mm, I'm sure I forgot I, something. I'm thinking we missed something, and I can't remember what it is, but I think they've got enough information and a phone mm -hmm. number yeah. that they'll be just fine. So as you all understand, make sure if you have time, go down to the car show on Vaughn Drive, and that is the Saturday before Memorial Day. And then if you're going to enter your car, it's $20. And... If you have a question, you can give Bobby Little a phone call. And like I say, cutoff time is 12 o'clock at noon, but if, if somebody has issues or a mechanical problem, we'll, we'll let them in late. We're not that critical. If they're taking the trouble to attend, we'll accommodate them, whatever we need to do. That's great. Well, as always, we thank you for watching.